This is second grade, module six, lesson 11. And in this lesson, we're gonna continue using square tiles to build rectangles of all different sorts, always reminding us that we're not really necessarily just building rectangles, we're building arrays with rows and columns. So we're continuing to practice all those important vocabulary words. So the fun thing about this lesson is that students are gonna be creating square, uh, rectangles, arrays, really. Now, the idea is parents and teachers give your students time. And if that means perhaps do fewer problems, fine, because really the, the, the value is not for the students to answer all the questions. The value is, the student, is for the students to really develop an understanding and an appreciation of the beauty of the mathematics. And if that means instead of doing five problems, they only do three problems, that's perfectly fine. Your students will still go to college. Uh, so the idea here is construct an array with 12 tiles. So I'm going to count out 12 tiles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12. So I have 12 tiles here, and I am going to construct an array up here somewhere. <clears throat> so it doesn't say what that array is supposed to look like. So this is where parents and teachers, boy, let your, your kids just have fun. And we're going to just kind of quickly build this. And they, your students, might have to just play and they might initially try and create rows of five, and that won't work. And then they'll try and create a row of seven, or a column of, I don't know, a column of five. You know, you'll get the idea, a column of nine. And they'll see, oh my gosh, this isn't working, until they finally are able to create an array using all 12 tiles with no gaps and no missing pieces, right? So now that we've got our array, what's the repeated addition? Well, we could do four rows of three, in which case we would do three plus three plus three plus three. We could do that, uh, looking at this, four rows of three. But they could also look at the columns and see three columns of four. So they could do 4 plus 4 plus 4 because your students are looking at the columns. All right, so however they look at it, it's okay on this problem. Although the way Eureka Math is gently leading us, Eureka Math is going to say that this is the answer they were looking for. But parents and teachers, please don't mark this wrong. It is not wrong, uh, especially in this context. Now here it says rearrange the same 12 tiles into an into a different array. So what I'm going to do instead is I'm just going to take another 12 tiles down here and I'm going to build another array. And this time I'm going to have columns of two, let's say. And here I'm going to keep going, keep going. And you can see that I, I still have 12 tiles because I have, whoa, I have one, two, three, four, five, six on the top row. Six on the bottom row, six plus six is 12. So there's our one repeated addition by looking at the rows, two rows of six. So that's six plus six. Or I can look at the columns. In each column, there's two uh, tiles. So I could think of this as two plus two plus two plus two plus two plus two. So there is our other uh, repeated addition that we could use. And once again, parents and teachers, both of these are correct. At this point, don't mark either, whichever one is not in the answer key, don't mark it wrong because it's not wrong. I suspect Eureka is going to want this in the uh, as the answer, but it's not the only answer. This one is also perfectly fine. And here again, we're going to construct two different arrays with 14 tiles. So one array might look like this. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. There's one array that we might look 
uh, build. Now the other array is going to be essentially the same thing, only rotated 90 degrees. And then what's tricky about this is your your students might really struggle and say, hey, but that's the same rectangle, it's just tilted on its side. And you could say, yes, exactly, and that's why mathematicians are flexible with um, the multiply, you know, saying this is 2 by 7 or 7 by 2. Uh, we're absolutely flexible. So here's our two possible rectangles that we could build. Two rows of, and that's this one. Two rows of 7 equals 14 tiles. Now, you'll notice it says two rows of blank is equal to seven rows of, because here's the other rectangle. So what could we say? Well, we could say two rows of seven, that's this one, is equal to seven rows of two. All right, and ultimately, parents and teachers, you see where we're going with this. We're, we're going with the commutative property, aren't we? We're saying, hey, 2 times 7 is equal to 7 times 2. Uh, but that's long into the future. This is not a second grade concept. But I just wanted to show you why are you going through this hassle. It's because you're paving the way for students to have a deep understanding of multiplication in third grade. And that wraps up second grade module 6 lesson 11 using square tiles to compose a variety of rectangles and relate those to the arrays and repeated addition.